everyone. I just left work and we are headed to the north end of Lake Conroe. So we're going to put in at Kegel Recreation Area and head north from there under the 1375 bridge and see what we can do out there. So this will be the first time on Lake Conroe. We'll see how it goes. I'm really excited and have my fingers crossed. So hopefully we'll get some good footage and catch some fish so I can show you guys the area. Stay tuned. So today, I've, I've been requested to go to the swimming pool by my daughter, so I'm going to hopefully get to the water, catch as many fish as I can, and she asked me to set myself a time limit. So uh, depending on what time we get there, uh, my goal is to be home by about 7 at the latest. So I think I'm going to give myself 4 hours max, I'll set the timer whenever we get on the water, 4 hours, see how many fish we can catch. And hopefully we'll have a good day and we'll be able to catch a lot of fish during that four hours. So uh, we'll see how it goes. We just passed Seven Coves Road, so uh, we're getting closer and hopefully we'll be there soon. All right, let's get unpacked, get everything loaded in the kayak, and hit the water. It looks great. Let's do this. officially 120 so I said I'd give myself about four hours so we'll start coming back in around five that way we can get unloaded hit the road by six be home by seven sounds good let's do it so we can reel in the fish this does tend to be the kind of a pain in the butt part about rolling with two two lures but this appears to be a pretty good fish he's fighting pretty good let's get him in Nice, nice fish. Stop flopping, stop flopping. I won't hurt you if you won't hurt me. Okay, I lied, I might eat, eat for dinner. Unhooked off the stump down there. We landed this guy. Let's see what we got. Oh, nice catfish. Wow, nice catfish. You hang on there, buddy. Let me get you in here.
bad news, catfish got off. As soon as I started trolling, I felt the boat, boat tug a little bit, and he just bent this hook, and it pulled it right out of there. Ah, that just kills me, kills me, kills me. He was stronger than that one, but we'll see what we can do, see if we can catch another one. All right, so I've come back around the brush, and I've gotten in this small, shallow cove area. Uh, I've seen a few fish jump, and it's about two feet, two and a half feet deep. So I'm just throwing the crankbait out, getting it on the bottom, and then just making a couple moves every now and then. Seeing what we can do that way. Whoop. <laughs> like I said, we'll see how shallow it gets. I just beached myself. <laughs> well, this is perfect. Maybe the wind will hold me here. Kind of spin me around just a little bit. I will let the, uh, the pedal drive, the PDL drive, just kind of hang up on the, on the sand there and hold me in place. I probably spent uh, close to 30 minutes trolling around in this large, shallow area. It's probably average about three and a half feet deep. Um, but I haven't had a single bite. I've seen some fish jumping here and there, but just nothing. Nothing's really wanting to bite in here. So I'm going to get back on the deeper side of this uh, across uh, some, some small islands back into the main part of the lake and see what we can do over there. So. Here we go. Alright, we've got our other crankbait rigged up. He's a decent sized one. So we're gonna see what he can do. He's got a nice large spoon bill on there. Oh. Woo! Hit a stump. Found that one pretty good. Hope the prop's alright. We'll stop taking a look at things. Just make sure we're good. <laughs> Thank goodness I wasn't flying. It's probably only going about two, two and a half miles an hour. All right, y'all. Well, we're getting back into the area where we first caught the fish, uh, both the freshwater drum and the catfish. We found them right over here. So I uh, just saw a fish swirl in front of me. So I just turned you guys on just in case we had a hit. Uh, I'm still trolling with two crankbaits, one on each side. Um, they both dive to about six to eight feet. So we'll see how it goes. Wow. Snagged that stump, didn't I? Spun the kayak around pretty quick. Can you reel this other one in? Let's go rescue the lure in the line. Oh, that's not too loud. All right, there we go. All right. Let's go get it. That's why structure is a blessing and a pain in the ass all at the same time. drag where you don't set the hook too far, you can usually cover it fairly okay. Thank you. 
tidbits, any recommendations for fishing like Conroe, especially on the north end, I'd greatly appreciate it. Alright, well, got everything loaded up, and I just can't thank y'all enough. Um, just wanted to say thank you again for the, the subscribers that I have, and if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Um, like I said, I've got more videos that are going to be coming out. Each time I go out and kayak fish, I'm going to bring you another video. So, thanks for watching, and have a good one. <laughs>